More scenes like this expected Thursday through the Iranian capital of Tehran as opponents of President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad continue to show their defiance following last week's disputed presidential election. Thursday will mark the fourth straight day of massive protests. Rallies earlier in the week included hundreds of thousands of people as protests turned violent. Some Iranian soccer players showed their support for the opposition candidate Mir Hossein Mosavi Wednesday wearing green armbands during a match in South Africa. Iranian authorities have kicked foreign journalists out of the country. Only a small amount of amateur footage is now able to get out. Officials have also rounded up perceived dissidents and blocked certain websites, all with the hope of getting the protests under control. One of the means of expression, uh, the uh, uh, use of uh, Twitter, uh, is a very important one, not only to the Iranian people, but now increasingly to people around the world, and most particularly young people. The Iranian government has also directly accused the U.S. of meddling in what's become a deepening crisis. Our government's not going to get involved in picking a candidate. Obviously, there is international concern uh, for the way an election was conducted, uh, and it's being looked into, uh, and certainly we believe rightfully so. Iran's main electoral authority has said it will conduct a partial recount of ballots where candidates claim irregularities. However, Mosavi supporters are calling for a full recount. Mosavi's website says he may attend today's rally. He's urging his supporters to wear black to the demonstrations. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.